Glenn Flurry. This board game is bourbon. Right now, I want to talk to you about Trip 1907, the interactive escape the book game, which is basically an escape room in a book form. And very interestingly, this one, according to the website, is being released in Germany as part of the Cosmos Escape Room series. Now, how does this work? Well, this book here is a book that is full of riddles, 44 if I counted correctly. And what you're going to do is you have things in here that are word puzzles, things that are physical puzzles, things that require you to manipulate the book itself in some way. So in kind of like that way, it's kind of like an escape uh, or exit series game. And um, part of the riddle is here. And then the other part of the riddle is on a website where you have to log in, read more of the story, and you will uh, put the two together with a question, try to figure it out. There's also a hint system in there. You start with 100 health, hints cost uh, life, and you try to make it through it before you die. You can also not move through the chapters until you solve the one before. Uh, so let me show you what the website looks like. All right, everyone, this is the website for Trip 1907. And when you first come here, it has a very nice layout. And something that I really enjoy about it is that they age the pages, not only in the physical book, but it continues into the website. So when you come here, you have to log in, create an account. And you can see here on the splash page that there's pictures of the book. And it shows you that you have an app or a website you can use for it. You go up in this upper right corner. There's a play. There's the chapters where you can go back in time and look at uh, previous chapters. You can go to the forum. That is kind of like you can discuss how to figuring out if you're stuck and the creators in there basically giving you like a third hint. And then there's a section called credits, which right now doesn't seem to work. I guess what happens is because in the game you start with 100 points, you know, if you run out of life, you go to credits and you can purchase more life, I guess. You can also buy the book, which is at this moment on Amazon for like 16 bucks. You can also contact them. So if we go to the forum, let's see what's in there for a second. You see the last person who talked was about uh, chapter nine. And I won't go in there because they might give away spoilers, okay? But, you know, there's extra information. And I wouldn't say the ultimate answer to any chapter is in there, but it is a third hint. Now, what does a hint look like? All right, well, let's say we're going into the chapters. I think I left it on chapter, let's say, chapter one. Let's say we go there. Okay. So what's going to happen here is you start out with 100, a max of 100 sanity. You gain two for every one you solve. You lose four for using a hint and uh, six for using a second hint. And what happens is the book gives you part of a riddle. Then you come in here, and then all this language here tells you more about the riddle that you need to solve. And then you press the next button. And what it's going to do is it will say, okay, enter the answer here. And then it'll blur out some of the text you had seen in your workbook. And it'll give you a little hint. Like here it's saying, huh, the word city in question mark. So you have to figure out what city is it talking about. Well, this one's pretty obvious. Um, but some of the chapters in the game, I don't even know what the question is that they're asking. Um, and you can see down here, you can press hint one uh, is minus four sanity, hint two is minus six. So if you go to you know sanity number one, are you sure you're going to lose your points? And so I've been exploring those quite a bit. And uh, look at this, copyright 1907. Boy, this guy's really been working on this book a long time. My goodness. And uh, that's basically how the uh, website works. You just kind of work your way through it. That's what the website looks like. And together it works pretty well. Now, I, I got to tell you, this book is a lot more substance, mm, substance, a lot more content than normal escape room games. You know, you normally get an escape room game. It says you play for an hour. I don't know. It, it ends up taking me all night when I play with people, maybe like three hours for some reason. But this book here has taken many nights. And um, you're going to look at this one of two ways. Uh, you're either going to say, wow, I have a lot of content for the money, or wow, this is getting long in the tooth because I am laboring. Sometimes you will labor on one of these riddles for as long as you would do an entire escape room game. It truly runs the gamut like the logic of all escape rooms I've played so far, where some of them are incredibly obvious. And you're like, how can that, you know, that, that might as well be in a dad joke book. Some of the puzzles, you know, are real head slappers. You're like, how did I overlook this obvious? It was a red herring. I went down the wrong path of logic. Other 
uh, puzzles are, I mean, you would have to be a patient at St. Elizabeth's Hospital to understand it. You know, it is so schizophrenic and just drifting from one topic to the next. It makes no sense. No one thinks about that. Now, there's a storyline pushing through it that kind of alludes to kind of like a Lovecraft type story. I can't say the story, although it can, uh, creates a thread through the book, the storyline doesn't necessarily progress. Like it doesn't build. There's, there's not peaks and valleys to the story. And the puzzles themselves do not necessarily equate to a furthering storyline or growing in complexity or anything like that. Um, they simply match whatever the little um, you know vignette is that's being offered to you at the time that you arrive at the puzzle. So in other words, the the riddles in this book could be put in any order. I don't think it would have affected. It's just an entire experience. It really is an activity book. And a, this in particular is a handbook to a website. And that raises the other thing. I wanted to talk to the uh, about this book because uh, Detective by Portal is coming out. And that uses the website a lot. And there's a lot of investigation. In this book, you're going to have to go online and you're going to have to learn things you might not know about and uh, make sense out of uh, some information to put the right information into the website to see if you've passed the chapter or not and you know that can be really cool in some ways and it is cool in some ways people in the forums love this game uh now for me you know i love the roll and write forum and i like the tactile physical ability of holding the book and i like sitting in bed with my pencil and just filling it out as I, you know, drift off asleep or something like that. But anyway, that's a small gripe. So if you're into it, check this out. It's, uh, you know, just get your pencil out. You can work with the book and keep your cell phone nearby. Okay, that is Trip 1907. Thanks, everyone. Bye.